Hi guys, Demo here. Sorry for being a little late. I was helping Cookie get some purple pumpkins for t his t video for today. So I do apologize for being late. I just had to do that. And then I was also combating some scammers that were in my lobby. Wonderful. What great way to start the, start the day. But today we're going to be reacting to the new weekly news trailer. If you don't know what this is, Adopt Me released two weekly newses, one on Monday, one on Wednesday, to prepare everyone for the update on Friday. And with today's update video, they are going into more de detail for what is to come for this weekly update. Again, they released one on Monday, but that is just like a little teaser for the update video on Wednesday. And because it's Wednesday, it means it's time to get in depth for this video and for this update. So the title is Trick or Treat, The Werebears Are Spreading? Adopt Me Halloween Week 3 update trailer. That means there's only two weeks left for the Adopt Me Halloween update. It's going to be sad to see it go, but that just means more awesome updates in the future. So that's super, super exciting. And well, you guys come here to watch the video. Sorry for yapping on, but let's do this. Oh, trick or treaters! But I'm all out of candy. Oh no. Oh, look well, at the bird, I just I noticed. Better go and answer the door. <laughs> oh, look oh, at the I'm Sorry, little ones. I'm all out of treats. Get him! Get out of my house, you little rascals! That's uncalled for! <laughs> oh. This is getting out of hand. Is that... Is that Sheen I hear? Is that Sheen I hear? Also, okay, let's take a look. So, first, that is the new bird. A lot of people were anticipating that this was going to be kind of ugly in-game. But to be honest, I think that looks pretty cool. I'm not too big of a fan of pets that fly all the time. I like them when they walk on the floor. But it's fine. You know, it's it's a pet to go in my inventory. And I'm intrigued on how the neon's going to look. I'm going to anticipate that it's either going to be the white parts of the body or it's going to be the black parts of the body. Who knows? We will have to wait and see. But the thing that I was the most excited for was the chicks. The zombie chick, the evil chick, and the ghost chick. Those look absolutely incredible. I'm really, really excited to see how they look neon. I think they're going to look super, super cool. Um... I'm most excited about the zombie one, just because it looks the coolest in my opinion, and I love zombies. Zombies are pretty rad. Here's the ghost one up close, destroying Matt's house. Uh, there's the evil one, destroying Matt's house. I do like the effects behind it. I think those look really, really, really cool. So, I'm... A lot of people were really, really upset with this one, just because it didn't look like the original evil chick. But to be honest, with the detail oh, yeah. and the and the uh, effects with it, I think it does look really cool. Um, I Again, I was one of the people that was a little bit upset about it but at the same time now seeing this more in detail i am very very excited to see it in game and make it neon okay next we have the zombie one this is the one i'm most excited for just look at it i'm a huge fan of zombies i have a uh zombie themed tattoo i have loads of zombie memorabilia i have I'm a huge fan of zombie media in general like zombie games zombie movies zombie tv shows all of that good stuff so anything to do with zombies is my absolute favorite like the, zo the zombie wolf from what was it last year or the year before i don't actually remember um were my absolute favorite they look the best in my opinion and i like the design of this he looks scruffy he's green he's got a little bit of a, a skeleton poking out and I just noticed one of his feet is different than the other as well. Like a mismatched feet, which I think is really cool too. Um, I got to know what you guys think though. What is your most ex anticipated pet here? I'm really excited for the car too. The car looks really cool. I'm not really the biggest fan of Werebear. I'm just really bad at it. And people were exploiting quite a lot with the uh, invis invisibility outfit that you could get in Adopt Me. Um, but Jesse has confirmed that they have patched it or they have attempted to patch it. So hopefully that's been fixed. Um, and I might actually have to take a shot at playing it again and seeing how it goes. Because it is fun. It's just with all the people exploiting and scripting in the game, it's very, very difficult to actually enjoy it. But I'm hoping now with all the updates and, again, a new map is, is going to make it look and feel absolutely amazing. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.